Camels from Hollywood. Camel Cigarettes present Ed Wynn and Ed's guests, the Three Stooges and Helen Forrest. <laughs> oh, the show is going to be simply ridiculous tonight. <laughs> about to begin. Hey, do you know the way I figure if they can send flowers by wire, why not people? You know, <laughs> Tonight, tonight's show will keep you on pins and needles. <laughs> If you'll actually not be on pins and needles, I mean, you will at least be stuck with the show anyhow. <laughs> you save stamps? Yes, I save stamps. <laughs> well, then save that. That kid is a juvenile delinquent. Why he should have to delink all over me, I don't know. <laughs> His father was an, an adult delinquent. That's what he was. That's why the kid is a juvenile. His father once took my father's gate. Right in, from the front yard. And my father wouldn't tell this kid's father that he took my father's gate. And when I asked my father why he didn't tell the kid's father about taking my father's gate, my father said he was afraid that the kid's father would take offense. <laughs> Let me just limit the phone, the telephone. Hello? Ed, this is the front office. Some of our CBS network executives are coming down to inspect your studio. Well, they can't do that. I'm doing a show. They can't come. Well, these executives will be here from New York for only a few days, and you must treat them with the greatest respect. How do you like that? Executive. All the time, executive. To me, an executive, you know what an executive is to me? An executive is a man who gets $50,000 a year has a, a beautiful office. You can see how excited I'm getting over this. <laughs> but that's what it is. He gets 50,000 years, I start to say, has a beautiful office, couple of secretaries, but no job. <laughs> Thank you, this. I don't... I, look at this here, carpet. Carpet for executives. Look at that. I never got that at the night. And here comes the CBS executive. Mush! Look at... Mush! 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 extravagant waste of money. Here, yeah, boy, take this rug and beat it. There's <laughs> no way for a vice president to talk. Oh! <laughs> hey, what is this whole thing anyhow? We are the CBS Brain Trust. This is our vice president in charge of soap operas. Oh, the vice president in charge of soap operas. How do you do? <laughs> is our vice president in charge of cutting costs. Why, certainly I'll cut the cost right away. There it is, right there. Give me that. All right. Unbutton your coat, stupid. All right. <laughs> Gentlemen, the vicissitudes of one's circumstances and these surroundings makes it nigh impossible to state one's feelings, which entitles you to additional chastisement. Prepare for the double zinger. No, no, no not, not the, the double, double zinger, zinger. no. <laughs> Thank you, then. Put your fingers out like that. Now hold your arms out that way. On your mark, get set, go! Let's go! Oh. <laughs> I've had enough of this, an executive. It's got to stop. I'm trying to do a show. Well, we're going to make a few little changes around here. There'll be no changes. I'm going to do the show myself, and I'm going to start it right now with a camel movie. Well, after the camel movie, we're going to make some changes. There will be no changes. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. 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 Wait when it comes to smokes, he likes a cigarette smile. He says, smoke camels and you will see they're so mild. 
camel suit you to a T. Camel, smoke camel, camel, and see how mild a cigarette can be. This is uh, my suit, especially for picking oranges. <laughs> Mabel, Mabel oranges. Oh. <laughs> we had such fraud this past winter. I have no idea what it did to this citrus crop. <laughs> So cold. Frozen orange juice. <laughs> but look at this beautiful scenery. Isn't it gorgeous? Look. Look at the pond. The wishing pond. The scenery. The trees. The bird bath. Lots of people have thought of a bird bath before. But I'm the first one to think of this, you know. <laughs> this, I think, is so wonderful. See? Isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> the bird. Well, really, I'll tell you what this whole scene is for. It is really to welcome my beautiful and lovely guest, Helen Forrest. Would you play some lovely music for the lovely Helen Forrest? If that's Helen Forrest, television is in worse shape than I thought it was. <laughs> We're going to make some changes around here. Yeah, we're going to make some changes around here. Quiet. Wait a minute. Yeah, well, you... <laughs> You've got to stop this! You've got to stop the whole thing! You're ruining my show! Please, we're trying to help you. I don't need any help. I can ruin my show myself. I don't need... <laughs> Just let me alone, will now, you? You can't do a television show with that pond here. It's very unsanitary. Yeah, it breeds fish. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Well, now, you see, that should teach you a lesson. <laughs> an executive out of me now. This is we got to get rid of that fishing pond. No, boys. Boys. Stop. Stop, boys. That is not a fishing pond. That is a wishing pond. Wishing? Fishing. Smishing. It's got to go. Yes, come come on. On. Get it off. Guys, Terry, wait a minute. I'm going to make a wish. for Helen Forrest. I'm so glad you finally got here. These boys are driving me crazy. Well, who are they, Ed? Well, they claim that they're top brass from New York. <laughs> you know what top brass is. They make uh, pipes for under sinks in the kitchen. Yeah, what is this? What is this? This is a television camera. Take one. Oh. <laughs> Just a minute, the television camera. Helen, I want you to see this instrument. This is the instrument that takes a picture of my face and it sends it out all over the country. And millions of people sitting in front of their sets looking at me, you know, see. And it gives them a chance to say, uh, who's that? Of course, these things, we have to see if that's set in photograph. Yeah, right. of a wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute. This is my show. I will look at it. How's the scene, Ed? Well, I can't tell. I'm looking at an old Hopalong Cassidy picture here. You can't tell. <laughs> Take it over. That boy, Hoppy, gets them every time. <laughs> Look at those trees. We'll have to do away with them. Now! Say! That's the worst scene I ever saw. That's the worst saw I ever seen. Here, <laughs> stop it! Oh, no, stop this, boy! Stop it! Get back! Get away from I'll be back to you in just a minute. Stop it! Stop it, boy! Get out of here! Hey, wait a minute! Here, stop! Boys, boys, this is a wishing pond. Such executive. <laughs> this is a wishing pond. Shall we all make a wish? <laughs> all right. Wait, wait a minute. It, it, it's too small a pond for all our wishes. <laughs> Just let me wish alone. Wait, I get a little coin here. I wish. I made my wish. Now I throw a coin in the pond. 